So when it comes to specifically potty train the dog, what I always do, and it will always work, Please do not apply any of the meats with hit him uh, with with a newspaper or place him inside with his nose inside the poop or pee. That, that's just crap, okay? Don't do that, guys. What will actually work is you teaching the dog, first of all, what potty means. So what I do with the dogs, when they're small and I see them either making a pee or a poop, I say, good potty, good potty, okay? Usually I have small pieces of of boiled meat or maybe small small pieces of, of cheese, okay? But be careful, unsalted, unsweetened, just regular cheese, okay? So whenever the, the puppy is pooping or peeing, I will reward him and say good potty, good potty. What does what this does is establish in the dog's mind the idea, the concept, the term of go potty, let's say, okay? Once I do that, then I can Focus on teaching the puppy where is okay for going to potty and where is not okay, okay? So first teach him the concept, the word, go potty, go potty, go potty. And then as this goes by, you can teach him no potty there, good potty on the pad. No potty there, good potty on the pad. And this I always do also outside. So when I'm out with the dog, I'm on a leash, I'm on a walk and the dog takes a pee or makes a poop. Is the same rule, good potty, good potty. And I reward him. At first, as he's a puppy, reward is mostly food-based, but as he grows a little bit older, as your relationship deepens, as he gets more accustomed to the environment, then you can transfer the reward from food to just interaction, words, affection, okay? You have to keep in mind that in the first days, your puppy, because he has just come from Romania, which is a different environment for him he went to the new environment he will be frightened most of the times a puppy when he's frightened or is nervous about the new environment if he feels threatened in the new environment what they will do they will try not to leave any marks in the ground on the ground in the uh, uh, proximity because he does not want to be discovered keep in mind that animals discover each other by the traces of pee and poop, right? Smell, pheromones. So expect that in a few couple of days, maybe one week, your puppy, if he doesn't get confident enough, if you didn't succeed to make him uh, confident enough uh, in regards to the environment, expect that he will not pee and poop during the walks, but he will mostly pee and poop in the house because the house will be the first place where he will he feel safe, right? So when I'm in the house, he will he'll feel safer with me. But once I exit the house, he will feel threatened by the environment, probably lots of dogs, probably cars, probably new smells, whatever the dog will perceive as a threat, he will refrain himself from going potty outside. So he will not leave the mark. So he will not be discovered by the potential enemy. And he will try to make the pee and poop in the house. So again, have a little bit of patience have a little bit of confidence in the dog. He will eventually move past that phase, but he just needs to be more, more accustomed and more calm with the environment.